I'm Dr. Scott. In Canada, 600 species are at risk of extinction and another 23 species are extirpated, which means they no longer occur here in Canada. In this country, the major factors that contribute to the loss of biodiversity of animals and plants include habitat degradation, climate change, and invasive organisms, that is, organisms, animals, and plants that are growing here or living here, but should not be living or growing here in Canada. Here at the Earth Ranger Centre for Sustainable Technology, the major herbaceous or non-woody invasive plants include garlic mustard and thistleweed. The major invasive tree species here on site is a tree called the Russian olive tree. Invasive plants are a serious threat because they colonize an area really quickly, and as a result of rapid colonization, they outcompete native plants for access to sunlight, nutrients from the soil, and water. In southern Ontario, the prairie habitat is likely the most endangered habitat type in the province, with less than 3% remaining. Wetlands are among the most environmentally degraded habitats in the province, with only 20% remaining as a result of environmental pollution. If this societal lack of stewardship continues, biodiversity and life as we know it on this planet will disappear. Project I Restore is a comprehensive multi-year restoration ecology project involving the rehabilitation of three fields from invasive domination to tall grass prairie, deciduous forest and wetland habitats. In partnership with Tallgrass Ontario, the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority, the Biodiversity Institute of Ontario at the University of Guelph and York University, Earth Rangers will transform these three species depauperate fields into diverse habitat sanctuaries for animals and plants. Project Diverstore also offers many citizen science volunteer opportunities for children, corporations and members of the community, thereby illustrating Earth Rangers' commitment to STEM education and science literacy for people in Canada. One science education component of Project Diverstore includes the development of a brand new field course for students in environmental biology, geography and environmental science here at York University. This course will be the first of its kind. In addition, students from the Biodiversity Institute of Ontario, based at the University of Guelph, will be collecting insect samples to build up their international Barcode of Life genetics project. I'm Earth Ranger Sean. I started to volunteer at Earth Rangers in July 2011 via an opportunity by Dr. Scott. He needed a GIS analyst to categorically map three fields that were needed for their current restoration project. I'm in charge of GPSing major habitat features such as habitat edges, soil sampling locations, and vegetation plots. Then using GIS computer software, I use the GPS data to produce high quality maps. These maps will help Earth Rangers document habitat changes in Project I Restore. This volunteer opportunity is very important to me because it enables me to use all the skills and tools I've learned during university while preparing me for a career as a GIS analyst. Hi, I'm Earth Ranger Pervase, and my role in this restoration project involves fieldwork and lab work. I collect soil and plant samples before, during and post restoration of the three fields and analyze the samples at the Geochemistry Lab at York University through the Department of Geography. At the Geochemistry Lab, I use scientific methods to analyze these ecological materials to determine pH, percentage of sand, silt and clay and nutrients in the fields around Earth Rangers and nutrient content of the soil and plant tissues. We will use this information to examine the changes in soil characteristics and nutrient availability throughout the restoration of this habitat. This work is important because it is crucial to understand the dynamics of the soil with respect to the plants that occupy it. But personally, I love working out in the field and it is my pleasure to work in one of the greenest buildings in North America. Society's lack of concern for the environment is placing biodiversity at risk. This biodiversity is very important to sustain life. Project Diverstore demonstrates that when we all work together, we will bring back the wild. 
To get the latest updates, follow us at EarthRangers at www.earthrangers.org.